Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about stages of infection. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the topic. What do we mean by infection? An infection is the invasion and growth of a harmful microorganism within the body. Now, stages of infection. The infectious disease process is categorized into different stages of infection incubation period, prodromal period, period of illness, period of decline, and convalescence period. First comes incubation period. Incubation is time from exposure to an infectious agent until the onset of symptoms. During this stage, a person does not show any signs or symptoms of sickness. Pathogens replicate during this stage and it varies depending upon the pathogen or virulence of the pathogen. During incubation period, patient is unaware that a disease is beginning to develop. Next to incubation, prodromal period comes. The prodromal stage is an intermediate period between the incubation and illness. During this stage, pathogens continue to multiply. In this stage of disease process, symptoms become first apparent. And these symptoms are typically non-specific to the pathogen and they may include fever, fatigue, and headaches. The duration of time can vary but the prodromal stage tends to be shorter than the incubation period. A person is contagious and can transmit an infection to others during this phase. Next comes period of illness. The symptoms will be specific to the type of pathogen and type of infection. For example, if someone has influenza, they will experience the full symptoms of a flu including fever, body aches, cough and fatigue. And this stage is highly contagious. Microbial replication steadily increases during this stage and includes the peak of infection. The only difference between the prodromal stage and period of illness is that in prodromal stage, the symptoms are non-specific, whereas in period of illness, the symptoms are specific to the pathogen. Next comes period of decline. During the decline stage, the immune system mounts a successful defense against the pathogens and number of infectious particles decreases. Symptoms will gradually improve in this stage. However, a person can develop secondary infections during this stage if the primary infection has weakened their immune system. Now comes convalescence stage. The final stage of infection is known as convalescence period. During this stage, symptoms resolve and a person can return to their normal functions. And this is typically a period of recovery and return to the pre-illness state. So here you go with the stages of infection. If you find this video useful, please like it, share it and subscribe it. And do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.